Good morning, friends. Come on over to circle time. Come join me. Are you ready to get started today? We're going to start with our calendar and weather, but what do we have to do first? We have got to get up and say the pledge. Does anybody know where I put my flag? Hmm. Oh, it's right here. You got it. All right, guys, I've got my flag. You guys take your hand, put it right on your heart, and let's do it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, put that right back there so I don't lose it again. All right, guys, what is our month of the year right now? Now, we've been doing it for a while, so I bet you guys already know. Say it one more time. April, yes, April is when spring starts. We have gone all the way down. We are in our last, last final days of April. This is super exciting. And we got all the way down to 29. Now, I am wondering what comes after 29. That's a little tricky. I think the best way for us to find out is to count. So we're gonna get our counting finger ready again. We're gonna start at number one and we're gonna do that careful counting where we count all the way down and see what comes after 29. So we're gonna start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Thirty is the next number that we need. All right. And yesterday we said that since we're following a pattern of pink and green, that we would need a green one next. And we were right. Three zero forms the number 30 and it's green. Perfect. I'm gonna put it up there. We're gonna walk our fingers up. We see TH which says, let me hear you guys say it. And that means the day of the week starts with that sound. Thursday. Today is Thursday, April 30th. 2020. Now we have to check the weather and at my house in Virginia I'm gonna look out the window. You guys are gonna look out your window in Maryland and we'll see if it's the same or different weather today. Sometimes it's the same, sometimes it's different. All right let's sing our song. What's the weather like today? Like today? Like today? What's the weather like today? Let's ask everyone. All right go peek out the window. I'm gonna peek out mine. Go 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 and we'll see what it looks like. All right, take a good look. Hmm, do I see blue skies? Do I see white skies that look like clouds? Hmm, all right, I see how the weather is at my house. Come on back when you're ready. Okay, are you guys ready? How was the weather at your house? What's the weather at your house? Thanks for telling me. At my house, it's Today looks, I think, like it's gonna be a sunny day. There are a little bit of clouds in the sky, but not very many. So I'm hoping that it stays that way and it stays sunny. Sometimes it gets more cloudy or even rainy, but right now it looks like it's gonna be sunny. So I'm gonna put it up sunny. Here is our map. It is our map of the whole wide, say it with me, world, yes! We know this is our country, the United States of America. We know our states are tiny in here. There's Maryland and Virginia and Washington DC where the president lives. What's the president's name again? Donald Trump. Yeah, he lives in Washington DC, which is really close to where we live. Now we know that there we're right here on the East Coast, but that we also know that our country is a big country. And we also know the world has a lot of countries in it. So we have talked about some of these countries a little bit. Let's see if we can remember some of them. I remember we learned about pinatas with Miss Callie and they were in a country that's close to where we live. It's called Mexico and Mexico is right next to us. Just like we have Canada up here right next to us. Hmm. Now I remember also that Miss Heather took us on a trip. She pretended to go somewhere. But yeah, there were castles. Big lakes they called locks. Oh, she even read a book about Nessie. 
It was in right here in Scotland, all the way across the ocean from us. Yeah. And some of you guys talked to me about building skyscrapers like I built in one of my videos. And I was building one that looked like a really, 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 really tall building, the tallest building in the world, which is in this teeny tiny country over here called the United Arab Emirates. Awesome. So we see that all around the world, people do different things. They speak different languages. They make different kinds of art. They eat different kinds of food. It's a very interesting place. Lots of different stuff. Now, earlier this week, we planted a garden and then we were the seeds growing in the garden. And you know what? I found this book. It's called Up in the Garden, Down in the Dirt. And it made me remember that there's something else that happens in the garden besides just the plants that are growing. So as you can see on the cover, there's plants like these flowers and there's dirt where they're growing down into. But wait a second, I see some other stuff. I see a squiggly worm. I see a bird. I see a butterfly. I even see oh, a little tiny bee up there. Those animals and insects and bugs, those are all different things that also come into the garden. So I was thinking that today maybe we could get up and move our bodies and be some of the critters that are in a garden. Does that sound good? Great, okay, stand up. Make sure you have enough room around you. And I think we should pretend to be a few of them. I think first, hmm, I think first I wanna to pretend to be the worm. Cause that worm looked the funniest to me. He was underground. Let's look again. Oh, he's going right through the dirt. That looks like a fun job. So you can be a worm a lot of ways. You could lay down on the ground and roll like a worm. You just have to make sure you're not rolling into anybody or anything. Or do you know how I'm gonna do it? So you can see me is I'm actually just gonna stand up and I'm gonna be a worm like this. Wiggly worm. Do you guys wanna do it with me? All right, let's wiggle like worms. Ready? One, two, three. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. One more, that was so fun. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Great. All right, the next thing I wanna be is, hmm, how about this butterfly? That butterfly looks like it's just flying around the whole garden. You wanna do it? All right. Let's get our butterfly wings on and they can be any color. Mine are gonna be, mm, I think like black and orange like the ones on the cover. All right, I'm gonna fly around my space, you fly around your space. But again, don't crash in anyway. Butterflies are very careful flyers. Ready? All right, let's fly. Oh. Oh. All right, fly on back. All right, let's do one more. I think, hmm, I think I wanna do the bee. The bee is right on the flower, probably collecting some pollen to make honey, or some nectar to make honey. And we are going to be little tiny bees flying to the flowers. So let's pretend that there's flowers all around the room. And we have to fly over to them, buzz, 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 and then we have to fly to the next one. All right, I'm gonna fly around my room, you fly around yours. Ready, set, a buzz, 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 buzz. A buzz, 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 buzz. A buzz, 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 buzz. <sighs> so many beautiful flowers. Awesome work, guys. Come on back. Let's find a seat, find a seat. Yep, buzz right back to your spot. And let's get started with this. We've got letter of the week. We know what it is. We know it's X. Let's make that sound. X. You've got it. You did both the sounds, that KS sound and an X makes. Let's make little ones. X. Nice whisper. Big one. X. Good work. Tiny one. X. Awesome. All right. Let's see some of those words that end with X. Because remember X, in the beginning, sometimes it makes different sounds. At the end, a lot of times we can really hear that KS sound. So we've got box, fox. An X. I can hear the X sound at the end of all of those. All right, we've got our number of the week. What is our number of the week? We're almost up to 20. Hmm, a one and a nine, 90. It's 90, is that right? No, it sounds like that sometimes. Sometimes when we say it, we, we think, oh, is it 90 or 19? 
It's 19. Let's say it together. 19. Great job. All right, we've got 19 the number. We've got 19 the word written. And we've got 19 tiny dots. And you can make one of these at your house, just like we do at school when we do our workbook page. And you can practice writing the number. You can practice writing the word. You can practice counting out 19 dots or little tiny things that you'd like. All right, and we've got our word wall. Now we know we added one at the end yesterday when we were counting. Not counting, when we were reading them. <laughs> All right, let's read them. All right, we've got to get our reading finger ready. We're going to start over here. We always start over here and go this way. Do you guys know why that is? Because when we read books, we always start it on this side and we read across. And then, boop, we go back over and read across. Boop, read across. So we practice it with stuff like this so we get used to it. So let's start right here. I see a big and little can me we you at do you guys remember that some of us we talked about um the at word family where at is part of the word at the end like cat bat sat hat and that it's also a word by itself at look he she said and that word that we talked about yesterday do you guys remember what it was starts with the sound i and then ends with t it's a really short word it it yeah this is the word it like it is so much fun to have circle time with you guys wonderful guys that's a lot of words we really learned a lot so far this year great work all right i'm gonna stick this back up here you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and when i see you tomorrow for friday circle time it, we're gonna have to do some friday dancing we are also gonna have to get ready because it's almost our show and tell Zoom. I can't wait. So we've got a lot to do. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.